good morning dear student so today we are going to start our new topic that is addition okay so the same concept we have learned in our previous standard also okay in previous standards we have learned how to add two digit number in this standard we will just extend this idea and we will see how to add three digit number so before starting our this concept we will learn some basic terms okay so see here addition is putting two numbers together okay addition is the putting two numbers together see here 28 plus 39 what mean by addition we have to put these two numbers together and see here 8 plus 9 17 okay 8 plus 9 17 so 7 right at one place and 1 carry to the 10 plus now 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 1 6 so 67 67 is the sum of is the sum of 28 and 39 so result of addition is called as sum so result of addition is called as sum okay the number that we add that are called add-ons and which number we added here these two numbers we added so these two numbers called as add-ons okay these two numbers are add-ons okay and the answer the answer of addition is called as sum okay so these are the basic basic terms regarding addition okay so this same concept we have learned in our previous standard okay so we will just extend this idea so now we will learn some properties of addition okay these properties are very important to learn addition okay so first property is order property first property is the order property and it state that see the sum of the two numbers does not change when the order of the addend is changed so we know what mean by addends which numbers we are going to add that numbers are called as addends okay if we change the order of the addends the sum of that number does not change here okay so we will see one example so you will understand see here this 14 and 15 these two numbers are add-ons okay what mean by add-ons which number we are going to add that number is called as add-ons okay so these two numbers are add-ons and we just change the order of that add-ons okay see here here i have written 14 plus 15 and here we just change the order of the addends here first i wrote here 15 then plus 14 means here order is changed so now we will see if result is same or different okay so see here 4 plus 5 4 plus 5 after 4 count 5 fingers okay so after 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay so 4 plus 5 9 4 plus 5 9 and 1 plus 1 2 so 14 plus 15 is equal to 29 here the sum of these two addends is 29 and now we will see here now here order is changed now we will see if result is changed or not okay so 5 plus 4 also 9 and 1 plus 1 2 means here if we change the order result does not change okay so this is the first property that is order property it state that if we change the order of the addons the result does not change okay so second property is grouping property okay it state that if we changes the groups of the addons the result does not change See here grouping property state that the sum of the three or more numbers does not change even when the their grouping is changed okay once again i am reading pay attention 
the sum of the three or more numbers does not change even when their grouping is changed even when we change their grouping okay the result remains same okay so see example so you will understand okay so the, what is the example find the sum of 25 plus 16 this is the one group okay and uh, plus 18 and here also find the 25 plus 16 plus 18 so this is another group okay here the numbers are same in both cases numbers are same just we changes the group and now we will see if result is remains same or not okay so first in this bracket which numbers are there 25 and 16 so just add that two number first okay so 25 plus 16 5 plus 6 11 1 here 1 carry okay 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 okay so here 41 is the sum of 25 and 16 now 18 add into 41 okay so see 41 plus this 18 okay so 1 plus 8 9 4 plus 1 5 so this is the sum means 59 is the sum of 25 plus 16 plus 18 okay now we will solve this sum okay see here in the bracket 16 plus 18 these two numbers are there okay means first this is the group is there okay so first do the addition of these two numbers 16 plus 18 okay so 6 plus 8 14 so 4 right here 1 carry 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 so 34 is the sum of 16 and 18 now add this 25 into 34 okay so next step 34 plus 25 so 4 plus 5 9 3 plus 2 5 we can see here 59 is the sum of 25 plus 16 plus 18 okay so here also 59 sum is there okay means if we changes if we changes the grouping of the numbers the result does not change so what is the conclusion this 25 plus 16 plus 18 is equal to 25 in bracket 16 plus 18 okay so this is the conclusion so if we changes the grouping of that numbers the result does not change okay next property is additive property for zero okay we know zero does not have a value okay but it increases the value of other numbers or digits okay you know that if we write 0 means there is a no value for 0 but we write 6 0 means this 0 increases the value of this 6 okay now so 0 does not have a value but it increases the value of others okay so now we will see the additive property for 0 okay so it state that the sum of a number and a 0 is the numbers itself means 0 added to any numbers what will be the result that same number okay or any number added to 0 what will be the result that is also same numbers means the sum of the number and the 0 is the number itself see the example so you will understand when we add 0 into 16 so answer will be 16 only okay so see here 16 plus 0 is equal to 16 or if we add any other number into 0 then what will the result that same number we see 0 plus 19 here we add 19 into 0 the answer will be 19 only okay so this is the additive property for 0 it state that the sum of the number 
and 0 is the number itself okay now we will see how to add four digit number but before that we will solve this mental mass okay so see here 10 hundreds is equal to dash dash thousand okay 10 hundreds okay suppose we collect 10 notes 10 notes of 100 10 notes of 100 rupees then how much total amount is there 100 plus 100 10 times add 100 then 10 hundreds mean 1000 okay then that amount is 1000 okay so 10 hundreds means 1000 10 hundreds means 1000 okay then dash dash 10 is equal to 100 dash dash 10 is equal to 100 okay so see here if we collect okay 10 notes currency notes of 10 rupees then what will be the total amount 100 correct na so 10 tens 10 tens is equal to 100 10 tens is equal to 100 and dash dash ones is equal to 110 can you tell me how many 1 rupees coin make 10 rupees so 10 coins of 1 rupee makes 10 rupee means 10 ones is equal to 110 okay so these are the very important okay for regrouping okay so see addition of four digit number without regrouping so what mean by without regrouping there is a no need to regroup okay means without carry forward this is the simple word without carry forward okay so now we will add these two numbers okay so first arrange this numbers into column okay so these are four digit number means one tens hundred and thousand okay now arrange these two numbers in column and then add four thousand five hundred thirty one here give plus sign and two thousand one hundred forty five now you have to just add the columns okay start from one place okay so start from one place one plus five six three plus four seven five plus one six four plus two six so six thousand six hundred seventy six is the sum of these two numbers okay now next example here three numbers are given and we have to add that three numbers okay so first arrange that numbers into column okay one tens hundred and thousand places okay now first number is two thousand one hundred forty two plus three thousand two hundred and three and then three thousand six hundred thirty one okay now just add the columns and always start from one's place okay means always start from right side okay so see two plus three five five plus one six okay four plus zero four only and four plus three seven okay then one plus two three three plus six nine okay and two plus three five five plus three eight so this is means 8976 is the sum of these three numbers so this is the without regrouping means there is a no need to regroup okay this is the without carry forward examples okay